please find the current in each resistor, the current through the battery, and the ammeter and voltmeters readings. If the problem does not say, that means the meters are ideal, which means they do not affect the circuit. So when we look at the circuit, we can ignore those meters. Just pretend that they're not there. That means in this circuit, 20 and 30, they are in parallel. And then together, they are in series with the 8 ohms. Because they are in series, they have to share the 10 volts. So no, no single resistor in this circuit is getting all the 10 volts. That means it can be convenient for us to find the equivalent resistance first. For these two in parallel, the equivalent resistance is 1 over equivalent equals to 1 over 20 plus 1 over 30, which is 60 over here and 3 plus 2, so this is 1 over 12. That means the equivalent resistance for this combination is 12 ohms. That means this circuit, the equivalent is 12 ohms. We use 12 ohms to replace this part, and then I have 8 ohms here and a 10 volt battery. That means that these two now they are in series, so in the circuit the total current is 10 volts divided by 12 and 8 in series. The current is half an amp. So the current through this part is half an amp. That means the 8 ohms gets half an amp. But this one is really these two in parallel. If they are in parallel, they would have to share the half an amp over here. But because they are in parallel, they have the same voltage. It can be convenient for us to look at the voltage over here. The voltage across the 12 ohms is I times R. That will be half an amp times 12 ohms, 6 volts. Since they are in parallel, that means they get the same voltage as the 12 ohms. So the voltage here is 6 volts, 6 volts. That means the current through the 20 ohms is the voltage divided by R, 6 divided by 20, and the current through the 30 ohms is 6 divided by 30. So that's 3 tenths and 1 fifth. And if we add them together, we do get half an amp because remember these two they share half an amp over here because the battery is in series with the 8 ohms so the battery gets the same current as the 8 ohms and the ammeter measures the current in the 8 ohms therefore this is also the ammeter's reading the voltmeter measures the voltage across the 20 ohms so it gets uh, 6 volts. So the voltmeter is reading 6 volts. In this multi-loop circuit, please find the current that goes through this battery, the resistance over here, and the EMF of this battery. In a multi-loop circuit like this, we cannot find any resistors in series or in parallel, so we cannot simplify this circuit. In this case, we would use the Kirchhoff's rules. I'll start with the junction rule, and I'm going to use, the, say, this junction. It doesn't matter which junction you use. For this junction, I have 2 amps going in, 8 amps going into the junction. The junction rule says the current going in equals the current coming out, so now we have 2 going in and 8 going in. That means that we need to have 10 coming out. So the current on this side must be 10 amps going out of the junction. Then we can use the loop rule to find these two values. Now I'm going to use the top loop to find the R. The t and I'm going to start right here and go clockwise. I'm going to go across this uh, battery from positive to the negative terminal. The positive terminal always has higher potential, so when I go from positive to the negative terminal, the potential will go down, and it goes down by 64 volts. And then I'm following the current. If I'm following the current, the potential is going to go down, so the potential is going to go down I times R, because V equals to IR. The current is 10 amps. 
the 10 amps over here. So it's 10 times R. And then I go this way. I'm still following the current. So minus I times R, 8 times 3. I'm back to the starting point. So the potential change should be 0. And this will give me the resistance that is 4 ohms. Then I can look at the bottom loop. Again, I'm going to start right here and go clockwise. This time, when I go clockwise, I'm going against the current. If I go against the current, the potential would go up by I times R, 8 times 3. And then I go from positive to the negative terminal. The potential goes down by whatever EMF this battery has. And then following the current, the potential goes down by I times R. Back to the starting point, I get 0. So this will give me the EMF that is 20 volts.